What's the most exclusive club in Australia? Is it the Royal Sydney Golf Club? Is it the Melbourne Club? Is it the Australia Club? No, it's the Canberra Bubble Club. It is the press gallery where the journalistic titans of News Corp and Nine Entertainments, SMH, AFR and The Age and a few others gather to report on the going-ons in Canberra. Now, we've been trying to join the Canberra Bubble Club so that we can cover politics for the election coming up possibly in March, possibly in May. We want to get on that blue bus. We want to get our reporter, Callum Foote, on the bus of doom. We want to monitor the way the propaganda is disseminated through the Canberra Bubble Club, through the press gallery. But apparently they can see this coming and they're protecting their little patch of turf, this exclusive elite club of incredible journalists. Actually, many of them we know and we like them and they're professionals. But this isn't about that. This is about a system, a system which needs to be looked at. And so it is that Callum Foote, who we want to send to Canberra to do the reporting, has been blocked at every turn, trying to get into this elite club. Now, how does one apply to get into this club? One needs four nominations, four nominations from the Canberra Press Gallery. So we set about doing that. We went straight to the top, to the people on the board, to the people on the Press Gallery Committee. These people, President David Crow, Nine Entertainment, Vice President Jane Norman, ABC, Secretary James Masola, Nine Entertainment, Treasurer Tom Connell, Sky News, and there are four general positions held by the ABC, Herald Sun, West Australian and AFR. How do we go applying to the gallery committee? On October 14, Callum emailed President David Crow, Vice President Jane Norman, then Secretary Andrew Tillett from the AFR and Stephanie Borries from the ABC. Of these four, Tillett originally replied to say that he was on parental leave. David Crow replied to say that he would bring it before the committee. Jane Norman did engage in our email exchange to inquire about Michael West Media, and when pressed for an endorsement, however, she ceased replying. Andrew Tillett was the only one that provided any follow-up on the matter on November 11, saying that, I seem to remember you were asking individual members of the committee to endorse your application. Just to clarify, it would be more appropriate if you obtained them from non-committee members. And so it was that we endeavoured to be more appropriate. And so we tried to find endorsements elsewhere. We went to The Guardian, this progressive institution, stonewalled there. We went back to the SMH, no luck there. It seems that very few people wanted us to be members. We did get some people that are backing us, but of course, the sting in the tail here is that we could have 100 endorsements, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because the committee can still find against new members and their decision will be final. Like this video if you'd like to see coverage of the election and the Canberra Bubble Club. There'll be a lot of cost involved sending Callum and a camera operator to Canberra. So let's do this. Chuck in a few dollars on Patreon if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much. Let's get him to Canberra. Let's cover this racket properly. <laughs>